You know, I don't know what everyone else does for excitement, but for me, <laughs> lightning. Pow! Zap! Uh, rain? Yeah, but uh, lightning is my jam. I don't tell just anyone this, because uh, everyone thinks I'm such a good shot, but uh, you know, I have enough voltage that uh, I don't have to hit exactly what I'm aiming for. Most of the time, you know, I just get close and the ground current does the rest. I just, I love surprising people, you know? Like, uh, I hear people say, oh, lightning's coming, uh, let's get under a tree. Well, I hate to tell you this, but uh, I'll just hit the top of the tree, it goes down the trunk and bam, you're done. You know, or, uh, or people will say, oh no, get into an open field. Well, guess what? Uh, you know, all I have to do is get close. Especially if they stand with their feet apart. You know, it goes up one leg, down the other. So, you know, the, the further their feet are apart, the stronger the jolt. But, uh, you know, if they stand with their feet close together, they stand more of a chance. And, uh, you know, you win some and you lose some. You know, uh, once I was working up in this big storm over the Targhees, you know, and there's these campers down off to the side and the girls doing the classic thing of, you know, counting one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. But, you know, guess what? I was 10 miles away and I still got them. Slam dunk. <laughs> you know, that is, uh, well, they were in a car, so they were, they were fine, but still a story. You're, you're going to be telling your grand clouds that story. Sometimes people make it a lot easier for me to hit them. I mean, they'll go stand next to like a power pole or a tree or metal. I mean, come on people, metal? It's conductive. My grandpa actually, he, he got this one guy, he had a, a key attached to a kite. It's like, you know, my grandpa still tells that story, but that guy was asking for it. 